Okay, look. Y'all want to hear this cray cray story? Like, I'm sitting here and I'm just. I have to believe that things are going to work out. I have to believe things are going to work out. But I'm like, let me speak the word over this situation. What does the word say about this situation? The word says, the Bible says. That God will bless all the work of our hands. The Bible says wealth and riches is in our home if we fear God. The Bible says that God blesses the house of the righteous. The Bible says if we seek wisdom, long life is in her right hand and riches and honor is in her left hand. So I have to believe that God is going to bring me out of this situation. I'm not going to talk about the negative stuff that happened. I was just thinking about this crazy story. I'm watching these videos. I need to turn the social media off completely and focus and pray. Especially since I, I say I'm dealing with something unbelievable. Unfathomable is the word. But these Google pranks is cray cray. But some of them you can tell that they scripted and fake. But the, the girl, you can tell the girl know that that's a man. Because I can hear, I he not change his voice enough. So, you know, they ain't going well. And you've been inside of two, three years, you know that that's it was. You know what I'm saying? And then his the disguise looks so look just really messed up. But um so one of the dudes it, he went all out. He went actually had a, a makeup artist come in. And a girl pulled out a taser, but what she put a gun out on that sucker? She he better be glad it was a taser. <laughs> she better be glad and then one of the girls um some kind of way she she was smart she was real smart she talked to men and stopped in the corner she got and she's and she was gone like flojo she ran like flojo the other girl it was like she could tell who he was and so she kept going back talking crap with him you know what i'm saying and he but they still got um a lot of fans they still got a lot a lot of fans because you can tell from the views the video got but I would have respected her more if she would have just said, I can tell you that's you. Rather than just sitting up there. Because all that stuff she was talking, she would have been raped. She would have been raped. She's just sitting up there talking crap with him and going back and forth. She would have been raped. And then some of them, you know that, you know you can tell from the beginning it's a prank. Because they didn't go through enough to get a car issue. They, they all of them got luxury cars. Then you all of them got extended friends and family with the car there is no reason you would ever need an uber there's no reason they would never eat an uber they would ever need an uber so that was crazy but i was i was going to tell this stupid story i probably don't need to tell that story i went to this church one time right and you know how we do sunday mornings when we get ready we get up we do our hair we could go get our kanji soup and we get our popping shoes, right? The most popular shoes in the closet. We get our Liz Taylor, our red door. Oh, <laughs> we get our big leather Bible and we gone, right? So, baby, we, I was on my way to church. And, um, and, so I get there, right? And I walk in. It's the it's this bomb building, right? It's a beautiful building. Big old beautiful building. Decorated nice. Beautiful. Educated people in the parking lot. And I'm I'm picking up on something. I'm picking up on that something that sexual was happening between, but but it's so it's so preposterous. Then I sit my ass there for a couple of Sundays, so I sit there, and so I meet one of the staff, and they immediately on me. In in a not in a sexual way, but I mean they own me, but they like they're trying to see where I'm coming from. So they, they, some of them live for the men and the women. I'm like, what they got going on in here? Just, just a little bit, just a hint. 
that, that you have to almost check your check your, did I pick that up right? But I um uh, so so I set my ass down. And so I got in being kinda I'm not I done met people that's really Bible scholars. When I say Bible scholars, they know the word. They can quote it right this. You know what I'm saying? Matthew six and thirty-three. Seek, seek, seek the first the kingdom and, and, and all these things will be added to you. You know what I'm saying? They can quote it just like that. Psalms 46 and 1. Um, the, the Lord is a very person helping the time of trouble. I mean, they got it. They be popping popping off those scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know the scripture. Um, am I saying all these things were more than conquer? Well, that's in Romans, but I don't know the exactly. You know, I can't say oh, that's in Romans 8 and 28. You know. Um, and I need to get on top of it. I need to turn off social media and get on top of it, right? So, I, but I know enough of it that I kind of sometimes I find myself in a situation where I'm in a in a staff position, even if I'm in, even if I'm just, you know, a, a junior prayer attendant, you know, or you know, a Sunday school teacher. I always find myself in those positions. So, so we was, they was having prayer and and the staff and us, we did prayer. We did prayer and we did a little sit sit down. I think I mean for some reason we was there for they did some church do nothing unusual. And I'm like, well, why I don't fit in here? Baby I seen so I, I left. Nothing too unusual. Nothing, nothing antagonistic, but I felt, I actually felt daggers coming at me. So I'm like, well, I don't know why I don't fit in here. But some of the people wasn't embracing me. So I'm like, what's going on here? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And so, I'm not, I'm not sure what's happening here. So I'm like, this is so far-fetched. These are illustrious people. Illustrious people. Reputation. They done went to the best Bible school. They done been mentored by the very best. Illustrious. Beautiful saint you women. So I'm sensing something sexual, but I'm like, you know, you're tripping. Your ass is tripping. So I go to the grocery store and I run into one of the <laughs> one I run into one of the staff was there that was the prayer meet, right? And his ass, I swear. If he would have had a gun, he would have, I swear, I felt like he really wanted to hurt me. I did. But his wife had kind of showed it up to me. And I kind of played it off. I'm like, did that really happen? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So whatever they doing, I'm like, these motherfuckers is crazy. Let me tell you something. I ain't never seen no shit like that. And at a church. And at a church. And at a church. I ain't never seen no shit like that. What's going on here? I'm so stupid. I went on here and just put it behind me. But it's shocking. Not only are you playing with God. But you open yourself up to you know who don't come away the open the gate preacher is not the one that comes up with it the preacher that the preacher that you never imagine you never dream of the one that come up with it. Lord Jesus. And one of these girls, well, one of these girls was on my coattails and I ain't know why. Because I'm like, she got everything. You know, she the queen bee. She's beautiful, slender. She, um, well, I think that she, she might have been one of the ones that's really compliant sexually. Because she ended up getting a staff position higher than mine, but I think what happened was she was wondering how I got the position that I got. But I'm not a position kind of mind. My mind don't work like that. 
Biden didn't know what was happening. Biden went on here and accepted it. As good as this look. Why, Cindy, you don't know how to make that story interesting. I know. But my mind just tripping on how it was church. It ain't like I went. <laughs> and that shit happened to me. I done went to the wrong ass fucking place. That shit happened to me. I, mean, I went to this job. Them bitches in there like they was at Club Red. Hooking up. Them bitches in there hooking up like they was at Club Red. And I was not on the... Uh, I was not on the um, on the list. I wasn't on the VIP list, baby. <laughs> I was not on the VIP list. So I did. I finally found me a little, a little ally, and she and I would go sit quietly in the uh, corner and watch TV <laughs> till on our break until we had to do some more work. Yeah, straight up in there like they up in club rags, baby. I'm like, you know, and they, but um, I guess I'm not a people person. I don't know, but I'm not gonna say nothing negative about myself. I'm very friendly, and I have friends in Jesus. And the Bible says, in order to have friends, you have to be friendly. So I am very friendly. I speak that upon myself, and I have friends according to the Bible because I am very friendly. Life is something, isn't it? Anyway, I'm not gonna complain. I was about to say something about this situation, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say the positive. I'm not saying anything. I'm gonna say what the Bible said. I'm not gonna say nothing else. And I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna get off this social media, and I'm gonna try to tell myself until I can quote verse and scripture, and then I don't need to be on social media. I don't have time. Until I can quote verse and scripture, I don't have time for social media. So with that being said, you're going to have a wonderful day. You're going to have a wonderful day. I'm trying to think if I was ever in an Uber that was questionable. I was not. I have never been in an Uber that, in an Uber that was questionable. I don't have, I, to be honest, I, I've only been a passenger where a guy made a pass at me one time. I lied to you not one time that happened one time one time and he was very um he wasn't pushy about it. he wasn't pushy about it he was he was he was very he was interested but he wasn't too pushy about it so I just got out and walked on out the car he wasn't disgusting he wasn't disgusting these guys are praying these pranks these are some pretty girls though so you probably get this one guy that probably Thinking they he gonna he gonna trip him like a, a what they call it a trip tray a hole. He probably think he trying to see he, they probably try to see if there's some kind of trip tray a hole. But some some of these were very pretty. But I only had that happen to me one time. He was a gentleman the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna I, I can't say that that has happened to me. But um, and when I I did drive it for a little while and I feel like I ain't gonna lie to you. 75% of people that get, got in the car only wanted to ride to see if I was some kind of a hoe that had looked up and got an Uber app. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I swear. 75% of people feel like they made me feel like they were only take. I'm talking about people, not just men. People. I had women come on strong. I had some men come on strong. I'm serious. I had some just be straight up cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just cool, laid back, relax. You know what I'm saying? But um, I think the worst passenger I had, I had went up in the hood, and my mind was like, Lord, I don't want to take this this passenger. But I said, you know, Cindy, that's you're being biased. Go ahead and take him and pick him up and drop. So these two dudes get in. 25, no more than 25, if that. And this guy came on so strong, I stopped the car and pressed the emergency button. And I told him, you have to get out. And he he got out. No, I didn't know that no happened. I took, I, I was able to keep the situation calm until he got to his destination. And, but I had pushed the emergency button. So when he got out, the police was on the way. And he, he called 
No, the Uber the supervisor called and said he can never use Uber again. I'm pretty sure he went and got another email, another credit card, and just re sign up. I don't know. But um, he went on to his destination. He was going to the pizza place. But yeah, that was one of the worst situations. But I haven't driven Uber. I got a job. I went and got a job, and I don't even know why I stopped driving. I just went and got a job. But, um, yeah, and I made that out. Well, that's a funny prank. That's a funny prank. You know, they got their PayPal for me. I think this couple that I just watched probably got almost 9 million views on theirs. You know what I'm saying? But they, they really, they did this real classic. They did this real class. She, she is, she got class. She's really, she's a black girl. And she got really got class. I know that's some stupid shit. Cause you can, you can, you can see a ding bad ass white bitch that's really a, a trap hostel. But you know what I'm saying. And, and but, but she and they didn't act like you surprised to see a black woman with class. And she had class. Because if she didn't have no class, she wouldn't have shot that motherfucker. I would have put, I would have put. See where we find a straight put a piss out the car. I don't know, and shot that motherfucker. <laughs> he was <laughs> he was clowning with her. He was clowning. He lucky to be alive. That's a dangerous prank. That's a dangerous ass prank. Now you gonna try that shit with the wrong bitch and be dead. <laughs>